In the last video, we were talking about regression. We went through the regression model modules to train our models. And, you know, the regression, we used the historical data, you know, the data asset that we're inputting into our flow, our models, our modules. And it would use features and labels to predict numerical values. And we can filter through it, we can clean it. But today we're doing one on classification data. This uses historical data with features and labels to predict a category or a class. So first thing we're doing is under assets, we're gonna go to data and we'll create a new data asset. And in the data asset name, we're gonna do medical history. So imagine, you know, we're working for a medical clinic and we're doing some Azure machine learning to help them process some data to make some predictions so we can classify different patients saying like these this person has diabetes and this person doesn't and this person has testicular cancer and that one doesn't so stuff like that so for this one we're going to be doing the data set types from azure ml version 1 api so i'm picking tabular hit next from web files i'll hit next i'm going to be using the provided url once the validation is complete you know we got the settings we could pick the file format delimiter encoding and then we get a data preview. So we get a patient ID, we get how many pregnancies this person, wow, nine pregnancies. These people, 11. Anyways, then we got a plasma glucose and now we hit next and we can see we can include or exclude different schemas, different column names, different types. So I can just hit, leave as is, hit next, click create. So here that I see the attributes, looks good we can head over to authoring designer and under designer we create a new pipeline using the classic pre-built components and I've got under the data so we got the component and the data tab under the data tab we got our data assets so I can drag this medical history in here I'll head over to component so we could verify this data by right clicking and going to preview data and here we can see the same data that we saw in the preview when we were building it if you click configure and submit, you know, we can do create new, but we don't need. So under components, the first one we're going to add is the select columns in data set module. And we can go ahead by connecting the data output to the data set input. Double click on this to open it. We can go edit column and we're going to go ahead and include all the columns and we're going to exclude one column name. The one I don't want is just the patient ID. Because we can sort that out later, you know, we don't need the patient ID to diagnose diabetes. All we need is everything else. Patient ID has nothing to do, the number of your patient's ID has nothing to do with whether or not you got diabetes. So that information is irrelevant right now for this. So I'll hit save here. Next module will go to the components, we'll do normalize. It's called normalize data. And we'll connect this data set. We'll connect the results of this data set into the input of our normalized data module data set. And we'll right double click on this and we'll go to edit column. So when we're gonna include it, we're just gonna enable, we're gonna include all columns. So the only column we wanna transform, we're gonna include the column names. And we'll do the word diabetic. So if I save this, let me just double check that that's what that column was called exactly. Maybe capital D. So these variables are case sensitive, so you gotta make sure if one's capitalized, you gotta capitalize the column name when you specify it. So from the normalized data, we're gonna output the transformed data set into a split data model split data module. So transform data set is coming out here into our data set. And we'll double click on our split data and we're just gonna fraction our rows to 0 0.7 instead of 0 0.5. And for our algorithm, we're gonna grab our two class logistic regression module. And we're gonna be using this to train a 
we're gonna do a train model module. So we'll be outputting the untrained model into our train model and we'll double click on here, edit column, and we're gonna use that same diabetic variable name that we used in the normalized data module. And from the results of the data set, we're gonna be putting that into the data set of a train model. Next, we're gonna calculate our score. So we'll put the train model into the first input. And then from the split data, we're gonna grab our second data set and plug it into the data set input of our score model. And we're gonna input the score data set into our evaluate model. And now that we've got a model ready, we can go ahead and configure and submit a new experiment. So our experiment, we can name it after our data asset. I named it medical history, so I'll just name it medical history. Got the job display name, job description, hit next. And for our compute cluster, cluster, I'll add in the compute VMs that were provided for me. And we'll hit next with the blob storage. And as you can see, our pipeline job has been submitted. And if I go over to my jobs under assets, I can view my job. The pipeline is running. So once this is done, I can go ahead and preview the data of our evaluation. So while this is running, we could talk about a few things. So I use the two class logistic regression model module. And if I type in two class here, you can see that we have two glass logistic regression. We have two glass average per perceptron, two class neural network, two class decision for it. So we got a lot of different things of two class. So the two class support vector machine, this one at the bottom, this has under a hundred features and it's a linear model. And the two class average perceptron is a fast training linear model. The two class decision tree is a accurate and fast training module. The two class logistic regression that we're using right now is a fast training linear module that's not the most accurate, so it's just the fastest one. That's why I'm using this one. So this is just the fastest way to do it. If you want the most accurate one, then you want to do the two class neural network. So this one is the longest time to train, but it's the most accurate. And then we have the two class boosted decision tree, which is similar to the decision forest, but this is the boosted decision tree. So this has accurate fast training and it has a large memory. So after about 15 minutes, we finally trained our evaluation model and we could finally preview our data set. So we can see our evaluation results. We can see our ROC curve, our precision recall curve, our lift curve, threshold. And we could just see the positives and negative examples. So this is how you set up a classification Azure machine learning pipeline and getting your data for your medical clinic. Hope you guys had fun watching this and I'll see you guys in the Discord channel or on the next video.